The insertion of an implant requires bone regeneration. New bone formation originates from the lateral bone walls of this crater-like two-wall defect. It is supported by the applied layer of autogenous bone chips locally harvested with a bone scraper. The second layer of deproteinized bovine bone mineral particles helps to overcontour the ridge and provide long-term stability. This is achieved by the low substitution rate of the xenogeneic bone substitute. An applied collagen membrane serves both mechanical and biological purposes. Mechanically, the membrane improves the stability of the applied bone chips and deproteinized bovine bone mineral particles in the augmented area. Biologically, the membrane provides a secluded space and prevents the ingrowth of soft tissue from the overlying mucosa. Biofunctional collagen membranes are a key element for guided bone regeneration and ensure uneventful wound healing. The membrane-protected space is filled with blood released from the ruptured vasculature spanning the bone and marrow cavities. The early proliferative phase is characterized by the formation of blood vessels to ensure oxygen supply. Bone formation occurs within a close distance from the vessels. This process is termed angiogenesis, which is closely related to bone formation. Fibroblasts follow and deposit a collagen-rich matrix around the newly formed blood vessels. Bone formation starts with the synthesis of an organic matrix consisting of collagen type 1 and other extracellular matrix proteins. Part of the osteoblasts become embedded in the newly formed bone and become osteocytes. Osteocytes form an interconnected network that later controls bone remodeling. Woven bone forms and connects the available surfaces by bone trabeculae. This primary spongiosa is immature. At this phase, the collagen membrane is still present and delineates the buccal aspect of the defect. After having fulfilled its role as a barrier, the collagen membrane allows vascularization of the grafted site from the periosteum. The newly formed lamellar bone now undergoes remodeling. In the remodeling phase, deproteinized bovine bone mineral particles resist the resorption activity of the cutting cone. Thereby, the slow resorbable bovine bone mineral particles offer the clinical advantage of long-term stability of the newly augmented bone volume.